What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I have three customs and a fig hack. So in today's video guys I have three new customs to show you guys. One of them in fact is a fig hack and then two of them are painted up customs of my own. So I want to show those off to you so let's go ahead and get started. So the first one we have up right here, guys, is the Wrestle Kingdom 12 Cody Rhodes. And this is a commission. He commissioned the Cody Rhodes and the Brandy Rhodes. I am not yet done with the Brandy Rhodes. I came into a lot of problems with that one that I'm trying to get figured out. But for now, here is Cody Rhodes. I went with the Elite 20 head scan. I like that head scan. I didn't have a spare Stardust or other th Elite 32 Cody Rhodes head scan or anything like that. So I went with this one. I think it looks pretty good. I have yet to put the Dream decal right here. I am. Uh, I have it in my possession right now I just am putting it off I could easily do it in like 10 seconds but uh, I haven't done that yet so I will get to that we have a Carl Anderson torso this is the elite 56 Carl Anderson is the base I switched out the shoulders and the arms here as you can see um, I like these better for Cody Rhodes they're not the jacked arms um, I believe this is a right arm Dean Ambrose and then I acetoned off the left wrist tape and then put a fisted hand in there Going down into the pants, here is the gold, black, and red attire that uh, Cody Rhodes wore at Wrestle Kingdom 12. Um, not too, too bad. I mean, I hand-painted this whole thing. No decals on this thing besides the tattoo. It doesn't look as good as BEW's, but, you know, I tried my best. I gave it my all. So, um, I am happy with the way it came out. Um, let me know down in, your, in the comment section below what you guys think. And then my favorite part of this thing is the kiss on the right boot and then the ring on the left boot. As you know, Cody Rhodes wears that. Um, I am happy with this attire and this overall custom, so let's move on to the next one. So the next figure we have, guys, is this custom fantasy attire, Kenny Omega. And no, the head scan is not done yet. Actually, the hairpiece will pop off here. Um, I'm not done painting it up, and I'm not done with the face yet, so that is why um, it's not glued down or anything. Um, but this is an Elite 45 Seth Rollins torso, crotch, and legs. I switched out the arms, and then I acetoned the uh, tattoo off the back. Coming down into the tights right here, I wanted to have that Omega logo on the butt cheek right there and then have some gold like sort of fading off of it with the paint, uh, the dry brushing coming off. And then on this side, I wanted to have sort of like a graffiti type airbrushed wing slash uh, with some gold and black all mixed in. I like the way that came out. And I think the white and gold of this attire really plays in nicely. I know that it kind of resembles uh, Seth Rollins' uh, attire, obviously, because that's what I use as the base. But I tried to make it my own as much as possible. Coming in on this side, we have this other logo that I hand-painted. You can see the silhouette of Kenny Omega there. You got the Omega logo and some bullet holes coming through. If anything, I would probably increase the size by about 15%. But I am happy with the way it looks, uh, with the way it came out. I like the uh, size of it. And I do love all the logos that I got painted on here. Here's a better close-up of those. And um, I would love to know your guys' feedback in the comment section below what you think. Also, going down in the kick pads, I wanted to have black accents in here, not just totally white and gold. So I added black down here in the feet. And I also thought about putting goodbye and goodnight on here. So it would be like goodbye over here and goodnight over here. Let me know down below, guys. Should I put cleaner? Should I put omega? Uh, just let me know down in the comment section below. But now let's get into the fig hack. So the last custom we got for you guys today is this custom updated Tyler Breeze in the Fashion Police attire. And this fig hack actually comes from us from Fig Skip Customs on Instagram. One of my great friends, big fan of the show. He actually sent me this and said that I could put this in the next episode of the fig hack. So I went ahead and gave you a shout out, bud. You definitely deserve it. This is an awesome little fix up here. Um, what we did was we took the Elite Dean Ambrose hat from Elite 39, I believe, or Elite 41. I can't remember. Um, so that's what that is. We got some aviator glasses from some elite. I'm not sure. It may have been Batista. I don't even know. So we got the coat on there as well and that. But that's not really where the uh, fig hack is. I guess the police hat is sort of a fig hack. But if you take off the coat and everything, you'll be able to see this a little bit better. So as you see on the legs right here, guys, what you do is you're, you see where this piece separates, where the swivel is? You take off the Tyler Breeze parts and then you pop the Bo Dallas thighs in there. 
and then you give him the lower legs of Tyler Breeze. And then I threw on some random, like, Navy-ish uh, knee pads that I had in my fodder box. I really don't think this matches quite well, but it doesn't look too, too bad. Um, I would like to have this color navy or this color blue, but um, I went with what I had, so you can use anything. I bet you could even use black. It probably wouldn't look that bad, but I just went with this purplish color because Tyler Breeze usually wears some wacky colors. And then the lower legs are obviously just Tyler Breeze. So just replace the upper thigh with Bo Dallas and then you have an updated Tyler Breeze in the attire sort of that he's wearing now and if you pop the little police hat on there then bam fashion police attire so that is a nice fig hack and shout out to fig skip again for that awesome custom idea but that does it for all the customs we have here today guys I hope you enjoyed the fig hack I hope you enjoyed the video if you did leave a like down below comment down below your favorite custom or if you like the Tyler Breeze better than both customs let me know down in the comment section below follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toy Hit that bell for all notifications so you never miss an MDT upload. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure related videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.